Welcome to episode 39, Sunday morning. Here we go again, 14 days straight. I think the boys are a little bit jaded. I know I certainly am. So we're here to finish the first lift on the couple of million pound houses that we're building in the sunny village of Southmoor. So uh, we've got the front to do, which is probably the most intricate and tricky bit. Try and get this done and get home for hopefully Arsenal Liverpool at 4.30. Morning everyone, back on the job. Sunday, early morning. Just doing a bit of filming. What are you saying? Oh, I'm just doing a bit where we all turn up the next morning. Who's your favourite? Everyone, everyone looks at the work they done Who's the night before. Uncle? Yeah, and slags off. And then they just <laughs> they just blame it on whoever is not here yet. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite uncle? Oh, I can't tell you that, mate. It's me, no, you have to give an answer in order. <laughs> That's too controversial. <laughs> It's got to be me, Charlie, hasn't it? Well, I don't what, know about what's that. What's going on with the jacket, well, It's not really in keeping. You look like you. If you stood at a bar, you'd look like he's ready to go out. And then if you walk from behind the bar, they think he's been at work all day. <laughs> you look like a dormant. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? Well, come on, let's just do the favourite uncle. Go on, then. Right, it depends, doesn't it? On what? I don't know. Where what, you are? What mood yeah, they're, they're in, yeah. Yeah. I looked after him. If you was in need, who would you ring? Or you and Fippin, the other Charlie. Probably my dad. No, but he was out of the country. Probably granddad. Probably probably Dorney. Yeah. Oh, wrong mate. All right, we better get on with some work. See you later. So we got Carl, we got Jack, we got Chopper over there, and we got Charlie on the mixer. The mixer's fired up. It's a bit early. So we got this whole front to do. Oh, and we've got the internals to do. Wowzers. Uh, so bay window stays down here now. Got a little return on each end. Uh, the combination door window is now in. Jack's going to do his bit of block work in there. Carl and Liam are going to get over there uh, and where that insulation is and cover that up. And then I'm going to fill this bit in by the front door now. Now we've got the subframes. Chimney stack is up and done. Um, so yeah, the muck has lightened up lovely and looks a lot better to be honest. I was a bit concerned about the darkness of the muck but it's lightened up very well uh, already just overnight. So this is last, this was done last night as you can see it's quite dark but then when we go around the back you will see how much it's lightened already which is which is good. It needs to lighten. It's got the lime in it which should lighten it up a bit. So as you can see it's starting to lighten up. Look at that, it looks lovely. It looks much better much better lighter mortar you can see it you know look at it down the bottom there underneath the window lightening up lovely we've got a little few little holes just to fill in it is quite a hard finish to achieve but um we'll get it done and there's the main man liam he's got to be the hardest working person in the gang without a shadow of a doubt and i don't mind admitting that maybe not yesterday but he certainly works hard he's a credit to the firm so yeah, let's get the GoPro on. Let's get this done. I've got Sunday pot roast today. My lovely wife is making me a nice Sunday dinner for when I get home. There's not a lot else in life that makes me as happy as coming home to a Sunday dinner. So this is, plot six is what we're building. This is plot five. So this has got to be block and beamed. I don't, we didn't do the foundation brickwork or block work. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's actually a good job. Uh, but uh, this has got to be block and beamed and then we'll be dropping onto this when block six is eventually finished. Again, there's a chimney there. So yeah, lovely setting. Each plot here, there's, so there's four plots in total already and each plot has been individually sold and then built by a developer or a builder or what have you. So that's the front there, look. So let's get this underway little bit of wire brushing on the stone to do this morning while waiting for the muck and let's get this done let's get the hell out of here
Wowzers, that is a wrap. That has been a good couple of shifts from the lads. So first lift's complete. We've left the stone a little bit lower on the front because we lost a man today. He had to go early. So we wanted to make sure that it's ready for the scaffolding. Uh, so we can scaffold it in the week. Uh, well, we're going to scaffold it, scaffold it towards the end of next week. So won't be here next weekend, but the following weekend. Um, but I'll give you a quick tour round because I really want to get home because I'm absolutely knackered. But the stone has really lightened up. The mortar's really lightened up and I think it looks incredible. It's going to look really nice. It's got like a flush brushed finish as opposed to a traditional bucket handle. Um, didn't like it at first, but it's weathered in really well already. It's going to look incredible when it's finished. So let's have a quick look. So as you can see, this is already weathered in. This is yes only yesterday's work. So it's already, I mean, look how light it is. Uh, but you know, it's all done. First lift's all done. Got it at reasonably high, so it's not so much of a joist lift. The chimney's set, the bay window's set. Next lift gets a bit easier because things drop off. All the internals are up. Uh, the big flank down here is done. We've done the front, which is a bit tricky because we've got meter boxes, windows, etc. So that's really lightened up. Re looking really nice. Be a nice job. Here's the boys. I'm just Liam's charging his vape. No, not yet, mate. So as you can see on here, this is today's work. So you can see how dark the muck is, uh, but then you see how much it's lightened out. So we've got the meter box in there. We've had to put it at that height because you've got the plinth. Yes, that kind of with that. Anyone seen Carl? <laughs> and you, um, here's the owner. Here's Tom. You can be on YouTube, Tom. Yeah. See, I'm doing something wrong. Tom's got a Bentley, I've got a truck. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's a wrap. What a start to a Monday morning. We've got it all going on today. We're out our development at Khan. We've got the trenches exposed, which we've had to do today. We've got the street lights going in. We've got some lean mix concrete on the way. We've got the lead man here. We've got the tape and jointer inside. And we're getting the street lights ready to whack in the ground. So let's have a quick tour and we'll show you what's going on. So as you can see, we start getting the trench now. So the lads are just assembling the street lights. We've got one street light about there and we've got one just there. So they got to go in. Uh, we've got a new electric pole being dropped in here, so that's going in. We've got to close the car park, we're hoping to get this done today and tomorrow. And then we are a lot. With then we are live, and we're all juiced up, ready to go. We're taped and jointing this plot on the left. Tape and jointing is going to be finished on this plot on the right on Thursday. We've got the mist coat book for Monday, and we've got the second fix carpentry book for Wednesday. So it's all systems go. First time I've ever put a street light in. Every day is a school day. But hey, all fun and games. Trenches are pulled, groundwork is here. Let's go. Good start to a Monday. Oh look, bit of wildlife in my tree. It's mine, it. Got my own little bird. We get a parrot. Here you go, birdie. Here we go then. Right, my little visitor is now gone from the office. It flew away safely, so don't worry. Birds are sacred by all accounts, but anyway, I'm uh, going to catch up with a few site visits now. Got some invoicing to do mid-month, so a uh, bit of invoicing to do. And I'm going to catch up with some lads who have been using the BT Engineering uh, clamps, which are used for clamping external profiles, internal profiles, internal walls. So great flexibility and versatility with them. Quite expensive in my opinion, but they should last. I'm aware there's a bit of an old school mentality that profiles are bad and you should be able to build a corner, but I just, I can't see the case for that argument. Of course a bricklayer should know how to build a corner, but in the same token, um, you know, putting up a straight edge or a profile and having your bed joints consistent, your corner plumb and being level and square, I'm struggling to see the downside of it. Nothing wrong with building corners. Everyone should know how to build a corner. It's part of the modules when you're at college, but to say that um, you're not a brickie because you use profiles is uh, a bit like saying you're not a surgeon if you use the latest technology and you don't use a scalpel. It's just crazy. Things move on, get with the times, or you get left behind. Innovate or evaporate. That's the motto around here. So, yeah, let's get out there and see the lads and see how these uh, BT profiles. So, some of our lads are using the BT engineering clamps uh, to clamp on top of the block work to hold the profiles in place. We'll have a quick look and see what they are like, shall we? I think they're very nice. Let's have a little look. 
There you have it. Top clamp, clamps on the block work. You can adjust it in each direction. Go on, Lee. Yeah, nice bit of kit. Very nice. Look at that. Got the gauge tape as well. Flying along. We got one in that corner as well on the internal. We'll have a look at that now. So Ted's got one set up on the internal corner as well. Is that a Dutch pin down there? Or is that, or is that another clamp? That's another clamp down there, isn't it? But yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice and plum. He's looking at block work. How neat is that? Wow. Good lads. Look at that. Brushed off, jointed both sides. Outstanding lads, outstanding. Right, tell you what we haven't done for a little while is a Morton Premier update. So let's have a quick look and see how we've been getting on, shall we? Right, so in the first Morton and it is just being painted now. So second coat is going on. Paint is cracking on. Looking lovely. Cool the spotlights. So this is the kitchen area. Uh, here we go. Nice media plate there over on the wall. All your bits and pieces. So this is the hallway. Big tall ceiling, lounge area, nice bay windows, looking good. It's my office, smoking cigar room. Let's have a look upstairs, shall we? Try not to get paint on me. How you doing, mate? Yeah, right. Don't worry, mate, I'll edit you out if you don't want to be on film. No. no, no. <laughs> Uh, this is the Jack and Jill bathroom. Jack and Jill means it's got two doors in it. One from the bedroom over there and then this one that I'm stood in. So all the tiling's done. Nice little feature tiling on the shower. Looking good. Feature tiling on the bath panel as well. Bedroom. My favourite section, as we, as I think we know by now, my favourite section. So it's the ensuite. Lovely shower in the corner here. Look at that, lovely. And then down into the wardrobe area, dressing area, built-in wardrobes. All the doors are open, probably because they've painted. Yeah, they've painted behind the walls, etc. Look at that, look at this, it's amazing, it's amazing, looking lovely. So, back out into the hallway. Do, do, do. Got more bedrooms, built in wardrobes, another en suite in there, probably a bit dark in there, another shower. All white toilet. Look at that. Beautiful. I think this is technically the master bedroom, but I wouldn't have this as a master, but anyway. Built in wardrobe. Again, feature tiling on the shower and the bath. There we go. Looking lovely. There we have it. So the decorators in here are T and M. I will put their Instagram link in description. They're doing a cracking job. Lovely, really neat, nice and tidy. So if you're interested in hitting them up, get on IG. I'll put their link in the description. Have a look, doing a really good job. In fact, they're gonna be pricing up our next development. So give them a shout, but that's it. That's a wrap on the Morton Premier update. So now it's time to get back to the office and do some more invoicing. So having read Phil Knight's book, who is the founder of Nike, one of the most important things about a business and about building a brand is its name. If you get the name right, half of your branding is done for you. 
and I just spotted this. Genius. Jason Donovan. For those of you that are not aware, that's obviously a play on Jason Donovan. Brilliant. I'm sure he does a roaring trade. But that's at our yard anyway. Just called me. Might look, might look at moving yards. Wowzers, what a week we have had on our development. The street lights are in. The new pole is in. The mains cable has been laid. The connections to the house have been done. The connection to the street lights have been done. It's all been backfilled. We've pulled the two trenches for the water connection to the front, which are now ready for a trench inspection from Wessex Water. We've had the tape and joint in it is now finished and we've cleaned all the plots out and now the decorator is actually here today on Friday. It's supposed to be Monday but he's got a gap and he's given them the first mist coat. So he's currently spraying next door. So I'll give you a tour of this one uh, prior to the mist coat and then we'll go next door and we'll see how that's looking. Oh and we've had the front doors uh, put in and we've had the survey for the kitchen done. So all systems go. Let's have a quick look. So the front door's in. Gives us a bit more light here. So we've had to put a heater here because we've had to, now the front door's in, we could uh, dab this reveal each side and then we've had to tape and joint it and it's not quite dry yet. So um, we can't sand it down. So the decorator's gonna have to stay away from that for, for, a time, for the time being. But yeah, we're all done. So the lads give them a very good clean and a good sweep out today. Ready so you don't blow a load of dust up the walls. So this is, this is prior to the mist coat. And then we'll go next door and we'll have a look, see what difference it makes. But so all the tape and joint is done. The boxing up here where the steel is, doesn't look too bad now. I'm quite pleased with that, it's quite subtle. It's not a, a very obvious boxing. Uh, we've created a little uh, shelf and stuff in here for put your toilet rolls on. Um, so, but yeah, it's all nice and clean. It's all nice and tidy. It's nice and warm in here already. We've only got that little heater on. So yeah, so this is prior to the mist coat. And we'll see what a difference the actual mist coat makes, shall we, when we go next door in a minute. So, it's the bathroom with the moisture board. So, let's go and have a look next door, shall we? Right, so here we go. This is the plot that's just had the mist coat. So it's a water down emulsion, basically. That's all it is. So what a remarkable difference it makes to the room. I mean, it is flawless. Fantastic. So just one coat, he goes in there, sprays it up. Only downside is it does sort of get everywhere, but it's a much better finish. Obviously couldn't do this front door either, but look at the light now. Look at the difference in, in the hallway and the entrance. So much better. Uh, it's a kitchen. Kitchen's gonna be lovely and light. Nice window, fairly decent sized window in there. In retrospect, I think I could have probably made that bigger, but I'm not an architect and I suppose, you know, the wall units uh, either side of it are probably important. Um, but yeah, but upstairs. So, so yeah, look, what a difference it makes. It's flawless, consistent, even coat. So, obviously it doesn't do it. Where the bath's gonna be tiled, so. But yeah, like I said, only downside is the, the it just gets everywhere, covers everything. But it's a much better finish. He's missed a bit, missed a bit in the corner. I'll go and see him now. So yeah, but yeah. So there we have it, people. Mist coat is done in the first plot. So that's it. So there we have it people. So there we go. I mean what a beautiful light living room area this is gonna be. Look, French doors going onto the garden. Lovely. The window there, the TV points. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Very proud of these. 
very proud of these and we're not even finished yet so yeah right that is a wrap I've just got to lock up with the when the paint is finished and tomorrow I am back on the retaining walls look from episode maybe 36 because we are doing the steps tomorrow which could be interesting but uh, quite looking forward to it and seeing the finished product if I'm honest so I'll see you in the morning because I'm going home to chill out now it's been a long busy week and I'm looking forward to having a bit of peace and quiet I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome, Saturday morning. We are back on the retaining wall from about episode 35, 36, and we're here to do the steps. So we got myself, Giuseppe, Johnny, and we got three sets of steps to do. So we're just working out what steps we're gonna do, what increments we're gonna do, and then we'll get them done. Let's have a quick tour, shall we? Giuseppe at the top. You see the brain's working hard, look. He's trying to work out what's, what's going on. He worked on the Leaning Tower of Pisa in his apprenticeship. So yeah, Johnny's got some grass seed down. So got all the blocks round, just waiting for the mixer. This mixer's got the hand the plug broken on it, so we are work out the steps. One, two, three. And we'll get them done and then we get the slabs. Slabs are done. Groundwork has done the slabs. So look pretty good I reckon. So let's get these done and get on. I've done my set of steps, and Joe's done his set of steps, <coughs> and Giuseppe keeps moaning, right? But mine are the best. <laughs> so see. comment below on who you think has done the best set of steps. And it's obviously me. I'm the middle one. Joe's the top one, now he's doing the bottom one. And I've done mine in about half the time that yeah, Giuseppe oh, yeah, done yeah, his. Done. So we'll have a look, shall we? Yeah. Right, so this is Giuseppe, he's building he's building a set in here now. And he's he's copied me now. He's copied me now because he <laughs> because he knows mine work better. Yeah. So then here's my set. Let's climb up. So this is my set. So I've done 150 steps, and then it works a full slab at that top bit. Right. It's a be a full slab up there. Nice platform. Johnny can sit there and have a beer and a roll up. And these are these are Giuseppe's. So comment below on which ones you think are the best. Alright, so now we've got to cut some slabs uh, in half and like that, like that one there, because it works half a slab per step, which is slab efficiency. So me and Carl are going to go and slab them now, cut them slabs now, and that's it. So let's go, let's get this done. Joe, what did you watch on the telly the other night? A dog playing a piano. A dog playing a piano? And what was he playing? Well, any gym, but he was good. He was what, um, what sort of dog was it? Jack Russell? <laughs> but, you know, he's unbelievable, isn't he? He was so what sort of, What sort of dog was it? Well, a little dog. Uh, 
I mean, my dog don't even go and get my slippers for me. Well, he won't take you on probably. My dog don't even go and get a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. No wonder your, step, no wonder your steps look like that, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love you. Right, that is the steps complete. Pappy's just finishing the top one. Let's have a little look, see how we've got them. Step one, step two, step three. Peppy reckons step one is the best. Personally, I reckon step two, which is mine, uh, is the best. But I don't know. They all look nice. A lot of work, a lot of blocks gone there. Do we use all them blocks? Ten left. Ten packs. How many packs there? Three packs of blocks. Three packs of blocks. Three packs of blocks. Pack of bricks. And three hundred slabs that needed cutting. But anyway, that's a wrap. All finished. Right, so that's a wrap. Say goodbye, boys. Episode 39, over and done. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next week.